Dead. Good to see you. You seem to have found all the orb pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. of August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes.
You only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. The wheel is good for keeping your victims still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them full between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb.
ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Vaya's stomach before attempting to mend the oil, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your hands.
of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and his three children. We took the coach and went there. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike the Zimmerman down without alerting the company. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. and I could hear the chapter collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Running short.
What are you doing? Time is running short. What are you doing? Time is running short.
I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased her. What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill her. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I'm too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I'm as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away as we did with them.
everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. 